this is a personal study of uh, female unmarried, 16 years of age, with a complaint in the left lumbar region, whereas when ultrasound showed normal kidneys, there was nothing to relate. Now this is an overfilled urinary bladder and in overfilled urinary bladder is when it exceeds the fundus of the uterus. This is the uterus and when the urinary bladder exceeds the fundus of the uterus, uh, we usually do not get the proper dimensions uh, because of the pressure of the overfilled urinary bladder on the uterus. Now this, uh, you see, this is the fundus of the uterus and here it is uh, extending, the unit battery is extending it significantly. So with an over distended unary bladder, the issue is that if I ask her to make it now, she may, uh, then I will have to wait till she has an adequately filled urinary bladder. So if, the, uh, if I get a dimensions which are within normal, uh, well then I will proceed with this bladder. So its length, Reliparis length is good, 6.06 .06 in length, normal, 2.9 in anterior posterior diameter, 2.5 is acceptable up to 2.5 so the dimensions of the uterus are normal this is the uterus normal dimensions then this is the cervix vagina now on the other side here yeah, this is the ovary this is the right ovary These are the hypogastric vessels and this is the ovary with follicular activity of an early stage. These are follicles, these black cystic areas within this encircled region are the... Uh, now this is follicles, they are the follicles. Now this is the ovary with follicular activity at the initial stage and uh, this is the uterus fundus of the uterus body of the uterus this is uterus in a longitudinal section this is the longitudinal section this is the urinary bladder this is the urinary bladder, this black area in longitudinal section, this is the cervix and uh, this is this linear structure in the center of the uterus, this area is the endometrial canal in very early stage of menstrual cycle, proliferative phase with normal dimensions. Now when I move the probe towards the left side to see the left ovary. I don't see it, the ovary rather. There is a mass, cystic complicated mass which is, which appears to be consistent with a tuber ovarian mass. Uh, now you see this cyst. This is the this is the uterus, this area. And this is the cystic area adjacent to the transverse left side of the uh, uterus. In this you see it has a fluid compartment. This is fluid, this black area and rest all of this is the aquagenic material, the debris thick 
uh, thick debris is seen within it and the wall is thick so this is this may this tubular linear structure at, at the anterior end may well be represented representative of a, a fallopian tube however now this is a uterus in transverse section this area and this is a complicated cyst this is the cyst with ecogenic material within it it is thick walled wall measure 6.1 millimeters and this cyst in itself measures 6.3 centimeters by 3.9 centimeters and is in the region of the left adenexa with the right ovary not visualized. You see, it's no posterior sh uh, shadowing is seen, uh, no calcification is seen within this uh, cystic area. And uh, if we try to calculate the approximate uh, volume of this uh, cyst, it, it will be so the volume is about 97 milliliters which is significant Now to mainly note in this, uh, whenever we see a cystic area, a complicated cystic area, what we do is we have to see the wall, first of all its anterior circle, posterior wall. Then you can see there is posterior wall acoustic enhancement, this, there is posterior wall acoustic enhancement but not to the degree that we see in simple cysts because of the waves being blocked by these ecogenic areas within the cyst, these ecogenic areas. Now this is this black area within any cystic area represents the fluid, this is the fluid. So this is a tuber ovarian cyst of infective nature. We have uh, it does not change its shape significantly. It retains its shape when I give a, now I am giving a full sweep to the probe. So this is my first different this is the cystic compartment and now this is the solid area and the here we see both cystic and solid compartments within this cystic a complicated cystic area in the region of the left adnex and this is the cause of a pain in the upper again this is the uterus in transfer section and the cyst is uh, this is the cyst. This is the fluid compartment. This area. These are the ecogenic areas within. This is the ecogenic area, and uh, this is the urinary bladder. So. This is how, now there are two differentials, uh, or three differentials for this without any <coughs> laboratory investigation or any other, uh, you know, clinical notes provided to you. One, that this is a ovarian cyst with infected ovarian cyst. Number two, will be hemorrhagic ovarian cyst. Number three will be 
tubo ovarian infective cyst, then before it can be, I mean, I will keep it in the last uh, mucinous cyst adenoma. Thank you.